Hello, Salam and Namaste. This is Asad Virani and I'm back with another tech video to solve your queries. Thank you for giving good support to my earlier video on WhatsApp privacy policy. And the reason that you are here again is because you are now concerned about your digital privacy. Those who have missed the video can check out the link here. In this video, I look forward to answer four of your queries. First one, is uninstalling WhatsApp enough? Two, are there other apps that are collecting my data? Three, how do I completely protect my privacy? And four, do I have to compromise my privacy for convenience? The internet, as you're aware, is an open platform for the best source of information on anything and everything. You have access to knowledge, communication, news, networking, file sharing, shopping, etc. And that has made life very simple just at the click of a button. Thanks to the internet, you are able to keep an eye on your home while you are vacationing abroad. At the same time, you can sit at the comfort of your home and manage your business. All this is available for almost free of cost. But as Milton Friedman says, there's nothing as free lunch. You get to use top class services of different websites in exchange of something. What is that something? That something is your data. Simply put as your digital privacy. Saying this, it's not that they are stealing your data, rather they are exchanging your data as a barter system, which you have agreed for while signing up for their services. It's as simple as ek hat de and ek hat le. Did you know, today tech giants like Google, Facebook, Amazon and their partners know more about you than you know about yourself. Just imagine what happens if one fine day you wake up in the morning and you realize that these companies have shut down. I have a solution. Just stop imagining. Now, the business model of these companies is very simple. They collect as much information possible from you so that they can process the same thing. They can follow your digital footprints and they will tailor make advertisements for your benefit and that's obviously even for their benefit the whatsapp privacy policy update of 4th of january 2021 has put us all in a panic mode why because we have now realized that how easily we are giving away our data in the name of convenience this policy update is just the tip of the iceberg. Only those who have dived deep into it have seen how massive it is. However, I feel that WhatsApp is just being honest by telling us its future plans, which is not wrong. Safeguarding your digital data is a laborious job. It's not as simple as switching off the electricity. The simplest way is to disconnect your internet, shut down all your devices and throw them off the balcony. This is not possible. So let's understand this a little more. Question is, how do you stay online, continue using these services and still not let them take away all of your data? Start by uninstalling non-essential apps if a service is available on an app as well as its website i would prefer using the website because that's less dangerous an app sitting in your phone has access to your data 24 by 7 without you knowing about it do you remember that graphics software you must have installed while installing, it asked you for a few permissions, including access to your gallery, 
access to your phone book and also permission to manage your calls. Now tell me, why would a graphics software need permission to access your phone book and to access your calls? Companies get more information with the app because it's always there in your phone and you can track all your data, all your preferences and send it back to the company. That is why many shopping websites offer you additional cashback or discounts if you use their app rather than the website. Web browsers are no less. Google Chrome tops the chart in data hogging. Do we have a solution? Yes, we do. Shift to Firefox with a few settings. One, always browse HTTPS protocol websites only. Two, keep browsing history off. Three, do not allow third party cookies. When you log on to Google or Facebook and you also do your surfing on another tab, all your browsing is being tracked by way of codes put in by Google, Facebook, Amazon, etc. These codes are called as cookies. These cookies keep a track of your data and send it back to the company so the company can process it and send it back to your computer by way of advertisements. Solution? Yes. Open one browser like Chrome and use only Gmail over there. Open another browser like Firefox and do your general browsing there. Make it a habit to log out from websites. Just closing your browser doesn't log you off. You have to actually go and click on log off or sign out. Today, there are most websites that ask you to log in to their websites to use their services, right? However, there are some websites that also offer you to log in via Google or Facebook. That's called as the login API. When you log out from such third party websites, you feel you have logged out. However, you haven't logged out from Google or Facebook whose API you have used. That means the cookie is still working. So whatever browsing you have done on the third party website using some tech company's API, it's sending all the data back to that company so that it can create your history. Simple solution, when you log out from the third party website, go back to the original website that is the Facebook or the Google API and log off from there also. Another important point is do not give location access to websites or apps. Nowadays, almost all websites including shopping websites or news websites ask you for your location in order to proceed further and you can always say deny. There are many more ways to keep yourself safe and slightly protected. That is, one, by preferring to use HTTPS protocol over the simple HTTP. Second is, change your passwords regularly. Third, don't use the same password on most websites. And fourth, prefer multi-factor authentication process while logging into websites. Yes, digital privacy is not easy. Even if you follow all of these steps, you will still end up leaking some of your information to these tech giants. Why? Because they are much more smarter than you and this is their business. Now, here's the Kahani Me twist. Let me rewind this video and look at it from another angle. Apps are collecting data from me. For what? So that they can make tailor-make advertisements and send them back to me. 
the machines at Facebook and Google are spying on me. For what? So that they can learn my behavior and changing preferences. Login APIs, what for? Simple, it allows me to log in to third party websites without signing up for their services, which are of course unknown territories for us. And finally, why are apps and websites asking for my location? Good question. That is so that they can send me offers and discounts as per my geographical area. So friends, the choice is yours. Convenience at the cost of privacy or privacy at the cost of convenience. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, Please hit like and subscribe and share with others. Thank you.